to the world of UX, the first name you hear is Don Norman. Don Norman broke my brain in a good way. Hi Donald, I've always been frustrated with processes and systems. The first book that is recommended to you is The Design of Everyday Things. I mean, this is the man at the very center of user-centered design. Hi there, my name is Ashni and I'm a usability analyst. My name is Storm Morrisby and I'm a user interface and experience designer from the Immersion Group. Hi Don, this is Kim from sunny South Africa. I'm a UX researcher in the fintech space. Hi Don, it is such a wonderful opportunity um, and a moment to be able to thank someone of your stature. Hi, I'm Sinead from Immersion Group. Rhea, I started out in print layout design and editorial design and came across Don and his book. And I knew from then on that that's what I wanted to do. So focused on that and followed his career absolutely any way possible. So thank you, Don, for your contribution to the industry and everything you've offered us. And you actually gave me the tools to do something about it. And I would be forever in your debt without you even knowing about it. You gave me a wonderful career. And I would just like to thank you for that. Thank you very, very much. But if I had to pick one thing that has changed the way that I think and changed the way that I work, it's got to be that you have to make sure that you are solving the right problem because your, your solution can be so amazing, but if you're solving the wrong problem, it's kind of useless. The very first two books that I read in the experience design field were The Design of Everyday Things and Emotional Design. So ever since then, a door handle has never looked the same again. And I've always scrutinized my kitchen appliances from a usability point of view before purchasing them. And apart from that, I've always looked to the Nielsen Norman Group as a point of reference whenever we were designing our design system or having a look at our team's roles and responsibilities. And let's not forget that famous question of why do you research with five individuals from your target market? John Norman's great work has had a huge impact on the work I do as a designer and was also one of the reasons why I decided to make this exciting line of work my career. I started my career as a front-end developer and I was working at a human-centered design agency. While I was there, I started learning more and more about UX and that broke my brain for interfaces. I couldn't help but see lots of things that I wanted to try and help fix. At some point, a friend recommended I read The Design of Everyday Things. That broke my brain for the world. I couldn't help but look around and see lots of things that I wanted to try and help fix. These days, I see the world in a slightly different light. I can't help but see things that I want to try and help improve or make a little bit better. I just wanted to say thank you so much for everything that you've done in this community. We really appreciate and value you. Cheers. So I'm really looking forward to meeting you, Mr. Don Norman, at the UXSA conference. See you soon. Thank you so much for pioneering this field and paving the way for so many others, including myself, to enjoy a career where we get to create great product and service experiences for people, not by accident or by chance, but as practitioners in an ever-growing discipline that's backed by a solid science. So thank you, Don Norman, for breaking my brain in a good way. Don Norman, if you're listening to this, I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the great contribution you've made towards human-centered design. This allows us to create experiences that excite and delight, so thank you. Thank <laughs> you.